Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our first activity, US Exercise Breaking News. On last Friday, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov sought to reassure the world about civilian casualties on day two of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Nobody is going to attack the people of Ukraine, he said during a heated press conference telling to the reporter that there were no strikes on civilian infrastructure. However, reports about apartment buildings and kindergartens being shelled, civilians being killed and rockets being found in residential streets have been trickling in since the beginning of the offensive. Social media, videos, photos and satellite images analyzed and geolocated by the reporter confirmed that on several occasions densely populated areas have been hit by Russian forces, reaching out to the Russian government for command. Amnesty International in a press release on Friday accused Russian forces of indiscriminate attacks on civilian areas and strikes on protected objects such as hospitals, citing three examples including an attack on Thursday near a hospital building in Bhalar in the eastern Donetsk region that attack killed four civilians and wounded ten more amnesty reported. A kindergarten in Okartio in the northeastern region of Sami was hit by selling on Friday according to several public officials. The Bion Pavel Kuchmenko claimed the selling was carried out by a Russian Argan multiply launch rocket system injuring several children. News of the alleged attack of Sancheko Kindergarten was confirmed by the head of the Sami Regional Military Administration, Demetrio Jevestisti, who said this was the third selling in Okatria on Friday. A video circulating on social media which Geolocated to the kindergarten in Okatria, shows injured people covered in blood on the ground in front of the interim. In the aftermath of the alleged attack, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Demetro Kuleva accused the Russian Federation of war crimes. Today's Russian attacks on a kindergarten and an orphanage are war crimes and violation of the Rome statue Kuleva tweeted. Together with the General Prosecutor's Office, we are collecting this and other facts which we will immediately send to the Hague. Responsibility is inevitable here today. The orphanage was mentioned by Lime Dula Denisova, the Ombudsman of the Barkova Rada for Human Rights. As a result of heavy armor selling of an orphanage in the town of Borzal in the Kiev region, 51 children were currently at risk of life and health, three of whom have been severe health problems and 15 in pain. The two buildings of the institution were damaged, he said. A video appeared on Facebook on Friday showing a projectile hitting the tarmac on a residential road. The user posting it then attached a photo of a remnant in hand with the word the fragment is on our doorstep. Geolocated the video to a residential address in Bucha, a suburb Kaib. Experts and open sources analysts are debating whether the rocket contained a cluster mutation based on the footage. Mark Hijani, Associated Director of the Arms Division at Human Rights Watch, and told the reporter projectile is a cluster mutation. Mutation upon landing the Munition will impact a wide area, Hitani explained and sent out 9mm bullets in all over the place, pretty nasty. Another explosive was landed in a residential area in Kharki, a city of northeast Ukraine. One image circulating on social media showed a large projectile that the flag through a pedestrian crossing geolocated the image of Kharki. Hitchney identified the weapon as a motor for a smash rocket and said it was likely no longer dangerous. An apartment block in the eastern city of Chuhip outside Kharkiv was damaged in an attack on Thursday that Ukrainian official attributed to Russian forces. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry listed 
to him as one of the targets of the intensive selling and strikes on the first day of the Russian offensive. Maxa released new imagery of a nearby airport that was the likely target of the attack in the image. Yes, it is possible to see damage to fuel storage areas and other airport infrastructure. News agencies such as Agence France Press and Andolo released images that showed a resident of the Chuhip apartment building crying among the wreckage of the strike. An old woman wrapped in a blanket sitting outside and firefighter attending a fire inside the building. At least one victim could be seen lying on the ground. Photos also showed a single large crater in the ground which hints at the use of a single missile or rocket for the attack, Amnesty said. BN Nazibot, Fusak TV, USA.